This is to show how to decorate Afghan or Tunisian crochet using a woven stitch. You can use yarn as I'm doing or you can use embroidery thread, a double strand. Just, the important thing is it just fills up the space. This is a tapestry needle which you could use but I'm actually using a darning needle and even a blunt nose needle would be even better since it wouldn't grab uh, some of the extra yarn. And of course to put on to thread your needle, wrap it around the base, hold it really tight. When you pull it off you can now push that little bunch of yarn through the needle head or eye and pull it through. Now this is the basic afghan stitch. So you can see there's a very prominent vertical line and that's the one we'll be going under. You just take your needle bring it under and pull it through. And you'll create, I'm going to pull this yarn up, and you'll create a running stitch. And that will look something like this blue yarn over here. Now you'll also notice in the center I have a pink that has a little bit of a change to it. And that is a wraparound stitch. And all you do it's take your yarn again, go back through the same space around that same vertical bar and lightly wrap it around. Don't pull it too tight so it puckers but at the same time that you don't want it to hang. The most important thing is you are consistent. For that one I wrapped it the double, the second stitch was underneath so I would want to keep doing that across the row. Or if you wrap it over the top, make sure you do it that way so the stitch will stay consistent. Now this you can use also to make other designs. This one is a zigzag stitch using the, or a zigzag design using a dark green and a pink thread. Of course I could do rows and rows of it. I can repeat the design or I can make another design. But you're not limited just to the basic afghan stitch. I'm going to turn this around and on this one I have the waffle stitch. If you need to know how to make that I do have a video showing that. But what you'll notice about the waffle stitch is it has actually two threads. If you can, let me go down here and get it. You can actually see I've got two loops. There's a prominent front one and a not so prominent back loop. Well, in this particular design up across the top, I'm just running it through the prominent loops and again having a running stitch. When I bring it down here, I've done the wrap around, but I've now done it around both the loops. So it has a little different look, plus I started to make a design having four, uh, wrapping around four in that row, going up to the top row, wrapping two, coming down. Actually my favorite is, and I'm going only again through the top prominent loop, was starting to make another zigzag design using dark green, medium green, and then pink. And of course you could use more and more rows to make a very decorative or you could actually reverse it now and start making uh, diamonds, a diamond design. So really the possibilities are whatever you want to do. But it does make a nice decoration and addition to your stitch knowledge and decoration knowledge of various crochet projects. It gives you a lot of options. If you'd like to see any free patterns, just go to simpleandsensational.com.